Hello and welcome back to Eyes of Fire Season 2, Episode 7, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Anyways, if it didn't watch the last episode, we got this. Yes, we got the Tide Trident, so if you didn't watch the last episode, I highly, re bleh, I highly recommend that you do, because um, it was interesting. Very interesting. Um, but anyways, uh, in today's episode, we will not be getting... Uh, that I don't know where I was going with that. We're not going to be making another Tide Trident. In fact, we will not be here at the base. Um, we have done stuff with immersive engineering in the past episodes, and in the last episode, we... Um, we didn't kill a dragon, unfortunately, but we did kill a sea serpent and we made the tide trident. But in today's episode, I have something else planned—a little bit more chill, a little bit more, a little bit more relaxed, I guess you could say. Well, hopefully relaxed anyway, because we could meet a troll, but we'll see. Um, and that's gonna be mining. Yes, we will be going to have a chill caving session. I did debate with myself whether or not I should make it a stream or an episode, but I'm gonna make it an episode because I think it would be chill and relaxing and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know. But anyways, I saw that we can make some stuff here. So, uh, originally I wanted to make some pickaxes for the mining trip, um, but then I remembered, well, I saw that we have these paxels here, which is basically a tool in one. And I really, really want to make one of those. Um, I don't think I have an iron axe anywhere. I just really want to make one. Uh, just to have it. And then we'll have a bunch of pickaxes as well. Um, oh, you can use damage tools. That's pretty cool. Now, the question is... What is the durability going to be for this thing? Because, like, we, I could just tra throw that away now. The, the stupid, annoying stone axe. Now, how much durability does this have, have here? 750. That's not too bad, honestly. I'm happy to use that amount of iron for a Paxel, I think. Especially once we get into enchanting. Hopefully, we're going to find more diamonds um, this episode as well. So that we can get a, get a diamond pickaxe, get to enchanting, and do stuff like that. Um, but anyways, I think this is going to be pretty good. So... Iron pickaxes? What's this? Iron lumber axe? What's a lumber axe? I mean, I assume it does lumber stuff. Is this gonna chop down a whole tree? I'm gonna try and make this. I'm not afraid to use my iron. I have a stack of iron ore in here in this chest, and today, hopefully, we will be getting a lot more. I wanna see what this is. Iron lumber axe. Huh. This could be interesting, oh, but that's not what I wanted to do. Let's make three iron pickaxes here to bring with us down into the mines here. There we go. Perfect. Now, I just want to test this thing just before we leave. I do have a bed with me so we can sleep, so nighttime is not going to be an issue. Uh, we might as well sleep now. Now, we're not going to be doing branch mining. We're actually going to go into the caves and, uh, well, do cavey stuff. Caving, because that's more exciting and more interesting and also entertaining. And also, I need some coal with me for torches. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so why don't we go over here to the savanna and just try and chop down a tree. Will this chop down the whole tree or is it just a super good and fast axe? Now, after that, I do believe I remember seeing a very good hole to drop into. This is not a hole, but... I'll have to search around. Now, will this chop down the whole tree? This is definitely taking a while, so I'm going to assume that it will drop the whole tree. We gotta see, progress 90%, and... Oh, it did. Okay. And... Um, oh, I hear... I hear a zombie. Okay. And it actually takes, like, 10 durability from the thing. That's pretty cool. I kinda like that. I kinda like that. Do I have my... Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot, actually, I installed a new mod here, which adds backpacks, basically. That's cool. Um, I should probably make that, shouldn't I? All right, let's try and make this backpack right here. I should have everything I need, right? Okay, so I can open it like this, and you can give it upgrades, which is really, really cool. Um, can I place it, I wonder? Oh, I can place it as well. And so when I do that... I pick it up. Now, can I place it on any of these slots? I can. 
and then I can use some button. Oh, that looks cool though. Perfect. I got the button. There we go. Awesome. It was B by default, uh, but apparently it was a conflict with something else. But that's cool. Okay, that's definitely going to help us to be able to just put some stuff in there. That's awesome. All right, enough time wasted. We're actually going back to that other hole that we were just at because I heard a zombie and also when going back here it had a little bit of a sneak peek and it actually continues further down. Maybe it's even what we can hear here. So let's go over there and uh, take a look. And now what what is the stuff that I'm after? Pretty much anything, any ore. I might not take everything because for example, this lead, I'm pretty sure that it is the ore, the vein that we find is sometimes they're pretty large and the use for it is honestly not that big. For some things that are, it is, but yeah, not big enough for me to care too much about it. So I think I'm gonna go more for like aluminum, zinc, copper, iron of course, and definitely coal because uh, if you haven't watched the episodes where we've been dealing with immersive engineering, uh, well, we need coal, basically. So that's the stuff that I will be going after. And of course, hopefully, we'll get some diamonds. All right, I have taken all the ores from here to the surface. I guess it is time to head into the depth of the unknown. So I'm just going to craft a bunch of torches here just to have them in my offhand. And here we go into the caves. Hopefully this actually leads to something and isn't just a dead end. What's that? Bauxite. Nice. A lot of coal. A lot of tin. And copper as well. And iron. We definitely want all the iron. All the iron that we can possibly get. I hear a lot of chickens. <laughs> Shall we call this the chicken cave? Huh. Chicken cave. Let it be official. This is a chicken cave. Um, Just like me. Because I'm a chicken. Uh, apparently, actually, I don't remember was it the last episode or the episode before that, where we had a creepy sound underground, and it turns out that uh, at least one of you in the comments of that video said that it sounded like a troll from Ice and Fire, so that was interesting. That sound was just super, super creepy. Uh, while I'm just mining this coal, by the way, as well, it got to my attention that some of you don't know of the series that I have going on called Ramblecraft. So basically it is a, just very short here, just while mining this coal, it's basically an SMP that I have with a bunch of other people. It's really cool, um, inspired by Hermitcraft. And yeah, we just do a bunch of cool stuff. Oh dear. <laughs> if basically, if you want me to see, see me do stuff like bigger builds, bigger projects, farms, redstone, that sort of stuff, and also in general, uh, playing with other people on a server like that. Um, definitely go ahead and check that series out. Uh, if you go and watch it, go to the playlist right now, you will see that it hasn't been active for like a week or two. I've taken a little bit of a break, but I'm getting back to it. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to do there. <laughs> I have a bunch of work to do uh, on there. But yeah, just a little bit of a plug, I guess, on that series, because it turns out so you don't even know it existed. Uh, Jasper. This looks like a cool rock. Also, we had a dead end here, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just gonna grab this coal here, I guess, and head back out because we wanna we wanna be in a cave, right? We we don't wanna we don't want these dead end nonsense. So I'm gonna get the ores from here, and then we're gonna find a um, a proper cave. How about that? This isn't a cave, but there's a lot of good ores here. Um, unfortunately, it's not a cave. I really want a cave that just goes down to like a bunch of lava and then they have some diamonds hanging over the lava and we have to get to them. I want that. That's what I want here. I'm gonna get the ores, obviously, uh, because the ores are valuable, but I really want a good, like a good cave. All right, I found something. It's a dead end, but I heard a zombie very close by. Our base is right over there. So let's go for it. I heard a zombie like here somewhere. So if there is a cave to the cave, well, that would be pretty cool. 
Yeah, that, that zombie is around here somewhere. I'm gonna try and mine the coal or the coal vein here. Maybe that will lead us to the cave. That would be pretty awesome. Found it. Found it. And it looks okay big, actually. Which is pretty cool. Um, just gonna be able to get down there. That's the issue. Down here safely. And I'm actually going to just very quickly turn off dynamic lights because otherwise I will keep I will forget to place torches and I will get lost which would not be cool all right yes this this is the cave see this is a cave where we need to do these signs and note where we've been and whatnot oh yes this this is a cave guys nice I love it I hear spider too creepy there's a lot of ores here. There's a lot of ores here, guys. Oh, there's a spider. Hi. And I see light. Light means lava. Hopefully. Um, I don't know if I'll get lost here. Hopefully not. In worst case scenario, we can dig straight up. <laughs> now, I just want to get these before go... Nope. Oh. That sound of tools always scare me. Let me know down in the comments below if that sound scares you guys as well when mining because it definitely scares me <laughs> like I can be so prepared for it and yet still get jump scared from it it's annoying this cave is interesting already with all its layers going that way and that way and a spider there did I like it I like this I don't think I've been caving like this for a while actually especially not modded so this this is fine. I see a skeleton down there. Um, I'm gonna assume... Oh, wow. What is this? This is you... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. This could be very bad. Um, okay, hold up. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you all doing? Um, didn't expect to get dropped like that. Um, okay. I'm gonna get my torches out here and get my shield instead because apparently we need to be combat ready now. Because we're being, we're being officially shot at, um, from two directions. Okay. There we go. That's one down. Not today. Thank you. Have I not deflected an arrow yet? Apparently not. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is... How low are we? Why level 43, huh? Alright, dead end. That makes things a little bit simpler. This looks cool, though. This looks really cool. Now, we do have Quark installed. And I don't remember if it adds some... Let's just say interesting things to the caving experience. Um, I'm not sure if this... Some specific dangerous stuff here. I don't remember, so I guess we'll just have to find out. <laughs> For all I know, we could explode in like 30 seconds. Like, that, I don't know. <laughs> and you die today. Thank you. Alright, I don't see anything suspicious so far. This is cool, though. Oh, it goes up and it goes down as well. Huh. This is a lot of caving. There's a lot of ores here. I don't know if I'll be able to take all these. But at least we know it's here. Because if I ever need something, this could definitely be the place that I get it. Uh, that even continues. Now, I don't want to get lost. This even continues down as well. But I think that is a dead end. Right? Yep, that's a dead end. Right, I came from up there, right? That's where I got shot. And I think this is a dead end, too. No, oh, wait, there's a creeper there. Okay. Now, let me just mark the place that I came from. So, I fell from up there. Let's make a staircase. He's still shooting me. Let's get rid of him. There we go. Right. I also saw some lava, didn't we? I think we saw some lava. Or was that up here? I think that have been up here. Right. 
Now we can get back up here. Yes, this is the first stuff that we found. It goes down there. And then we fell down this massive thing. So there's a hole there. Oh my. Alright, do we want to check the creeper area out or check that area out? I vote the creeper area. Just in case it's another dead end here. Let's be wary of the creeper. Eat first. Okay. Ah, there's the creeper. Hi, buddy. Let's just get him over here so we can deal with him properly without... Ooh, okay, that was a little bit close. A little bit close. Right, that goes down as well. I need more torches here. Torches, torches, torches. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, I heard you. Eh. Be gone. Enderman, I do not want to... Okay, we're going the other way. Oh, this is the place we could see from up there. Okay. That's cool, so it loops around a little bit. Oh, another creeper. Hi. Let's, uh... I don't know why we didn't hear the the hissing sound. That was weird. I actually want to block that up, because that's just going to be annoying to deal with. Dead end? Not a dead end. Keeps going. Oh. Ow. Come on. We're getting pretty low, guys, in the wild level, aren't we? Level 34, not diamond level yet. But we're getting there. Ooh. Oh, lead. Right. Not that useful for, for us at this point in time, anyway. That's uranium. So, I mean, that's cool. I guess this just loops back around here. Oh, eh. Stalactite and stalactites. I think these are stalactites, right? The ones that go from top to bottom. Pretty sure those are stalactites. Uh, maybe. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on that. It goes even further down. Look at this. I know I haven't taken any of the ores, by the way. Don't worry, I will. But if I just keep mining all the ores, we won't actually get to explore it all. What's this? Pink shimmering mushroom. Fancy. Silver ore. I need that, actually. That is... That's something I need, actually. Give me that right away. Oh, only one... <laughs> Come on. I need more than that. Alright, fine. That's even up there. This is fascinating. What's this? Ooh, more silver. Aluminum. Ooh, silver. Yay. Guys, another opening just appeared while I was mining this. By the way, we're on, like, Y level 17 right now. We're getting very close to diamond level. If we get diamonds from this... What's this? Is this a ravine? Hold up. Guys, this is a ravine. What on earth? <laughs> this is the best cave ever. Which is... That's... This is insane. This is a really, really good cave. Always want to have it way out, though. This is super cool. Probably a little, it's a little bit spooky. Because potential trolls and maybe whatnot. I don't know. But this is cool, though. What's this? Gray shimmering mushroom. Oh, oh no. I don't know what that's gonna spawn. What is that? It's active. I don't... Uh... Huh? Okay, uh, the, that's a... Mm. Yeah, I knew about those. <laughs> okay, that was... Okay, that's... That's a lot of bad guys here. Okay. Um, can we take care of you first, please? Because you're really the issue here. Thank you. Just want to make sure... They're dropping ores. 
These guys are not normal zombies, are they? I want to keep watching my back here because I do not want to get attacked from behind by something. Right. Yeah, I I seem to remember those. <laughs> Was kind of interesting that we hadn't found one sooner. Um. Yeah. Huh. Funny. Nickel. Nice. This goes down so deep. Wow. What why level are we now? 21. Okay. And this just loops back around. So that hole. But it keeps going down though. More silver. Ah, oh, and then it goes back up. I really wanted it to go down to some diamonds, but I mean that ravine could potentially have some stuff. Oh wait, okay, that's huh, that's what is that's that's a safe that's a safe spawner. That's a dungeon though. This cave is so big I can't stop saying it. What's that? Lead. Okay. This is gonna take ages to mine. You know? This is gonna take ages to mine. All of this up. Alright, let's go to that uh, spawner there. Ooh, that is that's gonna be useful for enchanting. Um, oh, they've already spawned. Okay, I apparently was too close. Uh, I just want my torches. <laughs> All I want is my torches. Let's go and disable that spawner. This should be a safe one. And not a weird one that's gonna explode with mobs. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. So we even found a dungeon here. That's awesome. No diamonds yet, though. I really, really want diamonds. If you can't tell, I really want them diamonds. Let me um, get rid of some of this stuff here. Into my backpack. Oh, that's so better. That's so much better. That's so much better. Beautiful. Let's see what we got. Oh, my. Wait, we got a Thurium pickaxe? Okay, that's interesting. Because you see... This is Thurium armor, and it is equivalent more or less to diamond, so I wonder if this can actually break obsidian. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Witch hat can apparently be used for some very interesting and weird stuff. Lexica of Batania. Bronze chest plate. I guess I'll take the bucket. Ooh, a name tag! We can finally name the horse so I don't keep forgetting what his name is <laughs> nice all right guys um this is a lot of ores and this has been a lot of exploration i st i'm not done i still want to check out that ravine so i'm gonna take some of these ores i'll be back with you when i'm back at that um that hole and the ravine and stuff just to see if we can get some diamonds because i really don't want to walk out of here without diamonds um, but either way this has been very very uh, productive I'm gonna say stay tuned for a mining stream because I don't want to leave here um, without mining at least as much as of this as I possibly can have in my inventory like I'm gonna come back for that by the way oh wait that's a gravel gold ore that's fancy I'm not going to break that because that'll break the entrance. <laughs> um, but yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. I don't know when, don't know what time. Um, but definitely stay tuned to that because I definitely want to get as much of this as I possibly can. And might as well make it into a stream and chat with you guys. Um, but now we have found it. So that is really cool. Now I want to... Let me just grab the gold and then I'll try and walk back here. And see if we can find some diamonds. Right, guys? So this is the ravine. Oh, it doesn't go any deeper than what we just went to. Ah. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Gotta be careful of those spawners and also trolls from Ice of Fire as well. I really just want to find some diamonds, but we're not in a wide level. In order to... In, in the right wide level, it's annoying. Ah. But we got the Thurian pickaxe, though. Oh, wait. Hold up. What do we got here? That could be a good sign. That's redstone right there. I believe that's silver. 
Okay, just gonna mark that as up. Lapis? Oh no, that's another one of those weird ones. Okay, let's just see if we can f spot anything of interest. Gotta be ready to run here, because I don't know what that's gonna do. No idea what that's gonna spawn. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I try and break it before it happens. It should give us a sound warning. Can I break it in time? Oh, I did. Okay. That was very good. <laughs> That was very, very good, because I'm not in a good position to be fighting that. Um, interesting mushrooms as well. There must be diamonds here at this lava. This is on Y level, level 11. This is prime spot for diamonds, all right? I, there has to be diamonds here. It would be so perfect if there are diamonds here. There has to be. No, no diamonds. Eh, come on, there has to be diamonds somewhere in these walls. Oh, uranium. There has to be diamonds somewhere. <laughs> I'm at the point where I just make poke holes hoping that I'm gonna find something. Uh, I really want diamonds. Like there's redstone here. It would be so perfect if there were some diamonds around here somewhere. And we're in the right Y level as well, which is the annoying bit. It would have been so perfect. It's annoying. Alright guys, after making a lot of poke holes around this area, I have not found any signs of diamonds, unfortunately. But fear not, maybe we will find some in the stream. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I will definitely be streaming, getting all these ores here. Because it's going to be a lot of work. And I really need all of them. <laughs> so that is going to be a stream, guys. Watch out for that. I'm going to try and schedule it a day before. Or at least a few hours before it happens. So be sure you're subscribed and enable those notifications. So you get notified when I go live. Additionally, you can join my Discord server. Link down below in the description. Aww. Uh, where you will also get updates when uh, I announce stuff and also upload stuff. And as a reminder, if you wish to get the Ice and Fire pack, the one that I'm playing with right now, uh, you can visit my Patreon page, link down below in the description. But with all that, I hope this episode was enjoyable and not too long, and I hope to see you in the next one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I might do a little bit of it off camera, but I'm gonna try and stream it, getting all of this stuff. Um, yeah. And maybe I'll catch a moment of finding a diamond. Because that would, that would be pretty cool. Um, and then I'll try and record it and include it in the next one. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Oh, that, that, was, that was weird. Did, okay. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs> Bunting